Well, of course it's October and October is usually pumpkin season. I wasn't going to do a pumpkin vase this year, but then I thought, okay, why not? This will be my third annual pumpkin vase. So let's just jump right in. I'll show you a few steps that I do, and then I'll probably go ahead and make the arrangement and add some music and let you relax a little bit, hopefully, and stick with me to the end to see the finished product. But I have a pumpkin here. This is not one that I've grown this year. I grew Cinderella pumpkins. I grew Hooligan. But this is uh, something. I don't know what it is. I bought this one. See, I've already cut the top out. You need a sharp knife, obviously, for that. Then I cleaned out all the membranes and the seeds and everything out of the inside. And if you have a grapefruit spoon, it has the little serrated edges on. It's really good for scraping everything out and also making a flat place on the inside of the bottom of your pumpkin so that your vase and we'll talk about that in a minute or whatever can sit and seat itself in there and then it's a good thing to just wipe out the inside i usually use a clorox wipe and wipe out the inside that helps keep down the bacteria out of the pumpkin and helps the pumpkin last a little so longer there's a couple things you can do to actually turn your pumpkin into a vase one is you can put your flowers directly you can put your water your flowers directly into the vase and that's all you have to do i don't really recommend doing that i have done it that way but i don't recommend doing that because it just everything's going to last longer if you have some sort of a vessel inside your vase that you can put your flowers in another thing you can do is just to use a plastic bag like a ziploc bag and i've taken a bigger Ziploc bag, like the gallon size, and then cut the zipper part off. And then you just put it in your pumpkin. You want a thicker plastic, but you put it in your pumpkin. You drape the, the um, you know, excess over the sides a little bit, and you go ahead and fill it, use your water. Another option is to use a vase or a jar. This is just a jar. I have these on hand all the time. So because I made a flatter place in the bottom of the pumpkin with the spoon, then the vase is going to sit a little bit better, a little bit more um, evenly. One more thing I will add before we go ahead and start putting the flowers in is if you decide to bring this in your house, which you certainly can and I have done, make sure whatever you set it on, you have something underneath, a plate or a trivet or something because the pumpkin will, the moisture in the pumpkin will ruin and mar your, your, um, your table or whatever. So make sure you set it on something and let's get started. I joined us.
here's the finished product. I literally cannot get one more flower in here. As you saw, I cut some of the small panicle hydrangea blooms and I just filled in around the bottom so that you, you know, really didn't see the opening of the pumpkin. I did have to wedge my jar with a piece of chicken wire, so um, poultry wire. So I just wedged it in there a little bit to make it a little bit more secure. You could use like whatever, I don't know, to if you needed to wedge your jar around. But I think it turned out really good. I'll give you some close-up shots. And um, I used dahlias, I used zinnia, I used giant marigolds, I used uh, the grasses that we gleaned, I used goldenrod, I used wheat celosia, uh, pro-cut sunflowers, two of those, and of course the pentacle, the little blooms of the pentacle hydrangeas, what else? I think that's everything we use. Yeah, I'm happy we decided to go ahead and put together a pumpkin vase arrangement this year. Like I said, I almost didn't, but I'm glad we did. I really want to say how much I appreciate your support of this channel, your support of me, and all the comments that you leave for me. Please continue to chat with me through the comments. That's my favorite part of having a YouTube channel. So until next time, friends, happy gardening. Bye-bye.